And people go say, okay, I'm going to become Muslim or you want to become a Malay. So there is this stigma that becoming Muslim is becoming a certain race or becoming a certain uh, group of people. Uh, so it creates different opinions among the people. So one of the reasons when we want to build the Masjid China, so one of the striking important thing that the point that we want to get across to people is China received Islam way earlier than the Malay actually. And this is one of the manifestations when you come here, oh everything is like look at the dome, look at this is like a pagoda. So Malay, they only know masjid in the Malay culture. Yeah. They don't know like how masjid looks like in China. Assalamualaikum Elsa di sini. Hai guys, hai semua halo tetangga Gimana kabar teman-teman semua Semoga sehat selalu, semoga bahagia selalu Dan semoga hari teman-teman semua selalu good day Selamat datang di channel Youtube Arsiu Identi Putri Ini ada channel Eat AI Halal Foodie Nah ini dia ada buat video tentang Masjid Cina di Malaysia Makin banyak nih guys Masjid-masjid dari kaum-kaum lain Yang dibangun di Malaysia Jadi hari ini kita akan melihat bagaimana cantiknya Masjid Cina di Malaysia ini Ini katanya memang baru benar-benar baru dibangun Jadi kita akan melihat bagaimana keindahan Masjid Cina ini guys Tapi sebelum dimulai video reaksinya Seperti biasa aku mau check in Teman-teman semua dulu untuk subscribe channel ini Dan aktifkan lonceng notifikasinya Supaya tidak ketinggalan updatean terbaru dari channel ini dan bagi teman-teman yang mau request bisa banget DM di instagram aku di atlcudentiputri tidak tanpa berlama-lama tanpa membuang masa jumlah kita mulai video reaks ini are you ready? let's go Chinese Muslim Masjid in Malaysia Assalamualaikum Today we are in Klaam visiting a Chinese Muslim Masjid just Wee. built recently and this is our brother Rizwan yeah. Uh, he's the first Chinese Malaysian Muslim that I ah, met in person. He's Muslim also doing the content Malaysia about Chinese. Islam. Uh, later, we're going to have small conversation about his journey to Islam and his restaurant. But before that, let's start the masjid tour. Oh, this is the Zhou Bi. Wow, it's really Chinese traditional yes. thing. And this is the last sermon of Nabi Muhammad. Oh, yeah. And this is my friend, Shafiq. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Welcome, welcome. He can speak fluent Chinese. <laughs> Masjid Jami China Muslim Clan. Oh, Masjid so it's like Jami Muslim. Oh, the Muslim of uh, the Clan Chinese Muslim Mosque. Uh, so Masjid Jami. So in Malaysia we have different Masjid and Masjid Jami. When you say mm -hmm. Masjid Jami, it means it has Friday prayer. So this is Masjid Jami. So this is the fifth Chinese mosque in the whole of Malaysia, oh. and is actually copied, inspired from the Great Mosque so of Malaysia. Xi'an. So if you know the Great Mosque in Xi'an, the Hui Mingjie over there, so you can see some similarities and a lot of striking features that is probably taken or inspired from that same mosque, okay? So without further ado, let's go inside. You can see uh, already there is no Arabic, there is no Malay. It's, you are greeted with the Chinese 100% Chinese, uh, Chinese, Chinese characters over here. So actually, I, I just spoke to some of the few Jama'ah, the Malay people. Uh, many people don't know that this is a mosque. Still, oh. because of outside, this oh, place looks hundred percent. There is no nah, dome. Nih, there is no moon. Kata abang ni banyak uh, orang Melayu yang belum tahu masjid ini. Mungkin dikira ini kayak tempat apa gitu. Nah, semoga dari video ini bisa memberikan informasi bagi teman-teman. Ini ada masjid baru, masjid Cina yang dibangun di daerah Kelang. Nah, teman-teman bisa sholat di sini gitu. There is no stars. There is no uh, Arabic minaret. So uh -uh. even some of the local are actually still thinking, wondering, is it a mosque or uh, is it a temple? A temple. A temple. Uh -huh. And when they come here also, you see the door. Even the door is like, like the Chinese China, gitu. old story, old movie. Yeah. Uh, and then the, the words are all in Chinese. What is it? Zhen Zhu Zhi Da. Yeah, Zhen Zhu Zhi Da. So Allahu Akbar. So now you are welcome by a Chinese oh, courtyard. So from Chinese here you can see even the this arc. So start with here. So we see Xiu Shen Yang Xing, Ming Li, Jing Shen Da Zhen Da Zhen Dao. Okay, it means like uh, we have to behave ourselves. Okay, uh, with the teaching of Nabi Muhammad. Okay, and then we spread the the peace, the religion of Islam to more people. And then the second verse is Jing Zhu Ai Ren Qi Er Yang Shan Chuan Zhen Li. 
Okay, so it's similar to the first verse, but the second verse is more on like uh, we have to uh, uh, submit ourselves to the one true God. Pada Allah, Allah. Maha Esa. And then we have to love all the human being, no matter you are Muslim, non-Muslim, Malay, Chinese, Indian, uh, or any races. So we love everyone, and then we 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 hate uh, something uh, which is evil, and then uh, we need to do uh, the good deeds and spread the truth to everyone. Wah, wow, bagus video. banget filosofinya guys the, dari tulisan itu ada dua tulisan. Yeah. Yeah. From 1300 years so, ago. Yeah. So you can compare 1300 years ago, but here this mall is not historical. So it's very new actually. But why uh, when we say Masjid China, so the Chinese mosque for the local, we are now in Malaysia, okay? Malaysia is 63% Malay people. That in Malaysia generally when say people say Muslim it refers to the Malay people. Mm. When people go said, okay, I'm going to become Muslim or you want to become a Malay. So there is this stigma that becoming Muslim is becoming a certain race or becoming a certain uh, group of people. Uh, so it creates different opinions among the people. So one of the reasons when we want to build the Masjid China, so one of the striking important thing that the point that we want to get across to people is, China received Islam way earlier than the Malay actually and this is one of the manifestations when you come here oh everything is like look at the dome look at this is like a pagoda so Malay they only know masjid in the Malay culture yeah. they don't know like how masjid looks like in China uh, for the Chinese people by building this mosque it creates something that is new like a fresh uh, fresh image Oh, actually, China has a lot of Muslim. Chinese masjid is a masjid as well. So the design is not have to be Arabic design. So mosque can have Chinese design, can have Malay design, Indian design, Arabic design, Moorish design. A mosque, what is a mosque? So today, when we give them a tour of this place, we remind the Muslim and non-Muslim, a mosque, first and foremost, is a place to worship. So what makes it Chinese? So when you go to a restaurant, what is the difference between Chinese restaurant and normal restaurant or mama restaurant? Uh, so a mosque is the same, like you, it's all a place to eat. For most, it's all, when you say masjid, automatically you understand this is a place to worship. pray, worship. to worship, to pray. Uh, so what makes it Chinese? What makes it Malay? What makes it Arabic? It's the culture, the design, architecture. Hmm. Uh, so and in Islam, it doesn't have anything that goes against uh, culture and architecture as long it doesn't have it doesn't go against the principle of Islam for example we don't have like animals uh, we don't have uh, idols uh, so for example what is the difference between normal Chinese building with this one so you can see here uh, like bamboos is a traditional identity of China things yeah. that are in China so when you are Chinese it's your culture does it have anything against Islam does it says uh, this symbol says that Allah is bad or something. No. So it's neutral. So whatever is from your, your own culture, when you become Islam, Islam doesn't change the culture, but it changes the, the heart and it cleans the Wah, bad things. Wah, betul banget. Hmm. Ah, so the, the, the good thing remains, way, tapi you can keep it, and then you actually improve it, and you just betul remove banget. the negative things. Hmm. So that is when Islam enter any cultures. So let's continue our tour. Budaya so apapun bisa masuk many, Islam many gitu. Facilities. Betul banget. I remember from the video, that it's actually from the main entrance the all entrance. the way to the main Wah, prayer hall. Wah, ini bagus banget sih kunjungan sejarah ya, Weh. One line. Uh, Bismillah, uh, semoga bisa kesini. Uh, one, oneness of God, la ilaha illallah. So here hmm. also, uh, we have Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin. Oh, sorry. Mereka aja, mereka aja. Wah, is that, wah, is that. Uh, you can see, uh, we have anyway. visitors local, whether you're a Muslim or non-Muslim, everybody is welcome. This is probably in the whole Malaysia that I know, the, yeah. the only mosque that you can visit and you can go up the minaret. Oh, this is Yeah, it's up. open. Uh, I know today it's locked or not, I'm not sure. Maybe. No, it's open. Uh, but we can go up and at night you can also go and enjoy the view from the top of the minaret. Some mm. of the Chinese local, they ask why they don't have uh, moon or the stars. Mm. So a mosque doesn't have any particular design. It can be open. In fact, in the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the first masjid is just they put a stone over there on the corner and then the roof is only like the leaf of the dead palm trees. Mm -hmm. And that's a mosque. No, even there's no calligraphy, there is no fancy uh, 
ayatul Quran written on the on the wall. It can be as simple as that, as long as it's a dedicated spot for prayer and facing the qibla, and it's clean and people obey the rules inside the mosque. It's already a mosque. Uh, yeah. It says here, La ilaha illallah. Ada spesifikasinya masjid itu seperti so, apa? Asal tempatnya bersih, bisa jadikan tempat untuk sholat. And Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, and the calligraphy here. Although it's Arabic, but it's actually Chinese style calligraphy. Mm -hmm. So for other people, if you ask any Muslims or Arabs, uh, they will know this is not a typical Arabic font. So the gate reminds you, the, the word reminds you, and the, the design also reminds you that there is only one God. Uh, so we have Bismillahirrahmanirrahim here. And this is, I think, same in Xi'an. The, this gate, the gate is like wooden, right? So this all Arabic uh, calligraphy, the 99 names of Allah. So I will lower my voice, but the mic can pick up the voice. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Okay, now we are in the main prayer hall. Uh, this main prayer hall uh, can accommodate, uh, including the outside, it's around uh, 1,000 people. Uh, you can see it's not very big, but you can see the mimbar also is using the Chinese pagoda style uh, still. And you can see the top, so it's very much Chinese. Even hmm. most Muslim, like Malay people, say, ah, Chinese. this is non-Muslim symbol or something. Hmm. So sometimes we cannot differentiate what is cultural, what is religious. Sometimes hmm. because it's intertwined in, in life, sometimes it's intertwined. So here, uh, you can see the Ayatul Quran. Uh, surrounding the mosque and we put uh, Arabic the normal one and there is Malay because it's a Malaysia and we have Chinese on on the bottom there even this one is actually a mixture of a Chinese style as well Imam of this masjid he can speak fluently Chinese wow that's amazing so you are Malay yes I am Malays. I'm a Malaysian uh, my mom is a, lo a local Chinese um, in Malaysia my grandma from uh, Hainan Oh, so in the future you're gonna do the hutbah in Chinese version. Inshallah, inshallah. One, I'm, once per uh, once a, a, a month. I'm really looking forward to that. So this is also we want to promote Chinese and Arabic calligraphy here. So inshallah, this is the plan. You can see this traditional. Uh, Chinese style when they go to classes. Even when I go to the Buddhist temple here in Malaysia, most temple they have a sitting corner and writing. Because writing calligraphy in Chinese culture, uh, it creates calmness and it sharpens the minds and you have to make sure that each brush and each stroke yeah. and you learn lots of taoli, like the wisdom, hikmah. So Muslim, Tangzong, Muslim the Shengho, we are expecting more and more this kind of event where non muslim come to here to learn about Islam. And these are all, uh, this is actually the first batch uh, of visitors in groups. Uh, so we want to train more volunteers. So if anyone who speaks Chinese, Muslims, they want to volunteer, they can come and we will train and how to share Islam to the visitors of this mosque oh, and the Chinese mosque. Allah, this is the cafeteria. Islam, eh? No, they are serving lunch. Wih, banyak loh eh, yang non I think it's the Chinese juga. Muslim food. Oh, ini tempat ini makan. Oh, yeah. Hot pot. Also Hot famous oh, mitarik. Mitarik. Oh. Wih. Halalnya, oh, nice. halal 100%. Fruit jelly. Mm. Mm. Oh, so hot. Mm. Oh, so hot. Yeah, you have to come to this masjid, whether you are Muslim or non-Muslim. Oke, okay, semoga video ini bisa memberikan informasi baru teman-teman semua. Kalau teman-teman ada waktu luang, bisa kunjungi masjid ini, guys. Masjid Muslim Chinese di daerah Klang. Nah, ini baru banget dibangun. Kita bisa melihat juga tadi kemegahan kaligrafinya, desainnya itu memang 100% Chinese, tapi ada beberapa tulisan Arab juga tadi, guys. Uh, aku terharu banget, ternyata banyak banget antusias dari orang-orang non-Muslim, terutama orang Cina tadi ya, guys. Karena tour guide-nya tadi berbicara bahasa Cina, itu 
penasaran dengan masjid ini? Mungkin bagi orang yang nggak tahu, ini akan dikira temple atau kuil gitu kan? Karena memang nggak ada kesan-kesan sebuah masjidnya. Teman-teman bisa melakukan perjalanan religi nih untuk mengetahui lebih dalam lagi tentang sejarah pembangunan masjid ini, guys. Untuk video kali ini cukup sekian. Dan bagi teman-teman yang suka sama video ini, jangan lupa untuk like, comment, dan subscribe. Dan kita ketemu di next video. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum.